I figured it's about time I revisited the Books Note Air 3C, a colour e-ink tablet, and took a bit of a closer look. Let's get into it. Hey friend, Mark from The Spark, welcome back to my channel where yes, we're gonna take a closer look at the uh, Note Air 3C. Uh, if you've watched my channel for a little while, you'll know I unboxed this a few months ago and I wanted to have a play around with it and what have you. Um, and I'll be honest, I didn't get to play around with it that much. Um, I was a little bit too addicted to my Kindle Scribe. Doesn't take away from the fact that this is an amazing tablet. Uh, can do pretty much anything you'd like because it's Android based. So you can download loads of different apps for it. And you can, like I'm doing here, I'm screen recording this thing here. Can't do that on my Kindle Scribe. It's color, don't have that on my Kindle Scribe. Can't load any third party apps onto my Kindle Scribe, but you can on this. So this has got a lot going for it. But I thought to myself, as I was thinking about how can I introduce the books, how can I do a bit of a deep dive into it? I thought, well, let's take it for what it is, which is a note taking device. So rather than trying to look at e-reader or any of those other apps, let's look at the note taking. How good is that? Uh, and then you can make your own mind and compare it to the Kindle Scribe, which I've done plenty of videos. I'll put a link somewhere on the screen here and at the end of the video and in the description box as well. So you can go check out those videos and compare and contrast the book's note taking abilities to that device as well, I do have the color, is it E color seven, the e-reader as well from Books, which again, I will look at that a little in detail uh, in other videos. Uh, and I also got the Palmer as well, a kind of like a phone sized uh, e-ink device too. And I will look at that in yet another video. But for now, let's dig deep into the note taking capabilities of the Books. Okay. so. Like I say, I'm recording here, so ignore that. I'm also recording from up here as well, so maybe I could be able to flip and float between, between the two things. Um, let's just go in. This is the notebook. Um, you know, if you tap that, this is what you get into. What's that? Okay, no associate notes. No idea what that is. I assume maybe it's notes that are connected to other notes. I don't know, maybe we'll figure that out. And then that's kind of favorites, I guess. So if you've got a favorite note you want to click into. But anyway, this is what we get into here. And if we create notebook, what do we have here? We've got recents general. Um, so it gives you all the, what you would expect uh, in terms of um, default uh, stuff for you to kind of start your notebook with. Um, you can see them there. Various different ways of taking notes. Let's go for a, let's tap through work. That gives us a few more. What's that one? That's quite interesting. Okay, ah, who, what, when, where, how, or why? Okay, analysis book. Um, there we go, workout progress. That could be a good one, I've got to download that one. Um, step flow chart, weekly plan to do list, study. All right, again, oh, daily schedule, workout. You can see I haven't really looked into this too much other than, than now. Um, but you can get similar things on the scribe or you have to download them via third party apps. I don't have things as detailed as this though. That's quite good. Other, <laughs> right. Okay. So different covers, um, for your notebook Again, daily planner for grid cartoon and whatever the heck these are, I'm sure you'll know what these are. Um, I, I don't custom if you've made. Uh, you know, if you've uploaded a PDF template or whatever, you'll find it here. Okay, let's just go to general and let's tap uh, blank. Oh, let's create, should I say, there we go, create. And I believe I could have given it a uh, name. So you can kind of go back here. Big hint of what I'd like you to do to the channel if you like what you see. There we are. Subscribe, yeah, I want you to subscribe. <laughs> Ink devices have never been great at typing. I mean, look at that again, I've missed it again. Ah, there we are. This is the thing with all the ink devices, the typing experience is, is always rubbish. There we go. So if you like what you've seen in this video, please do subscribe. All right, so we have a blank template here. So I guess we can just go ahead and draw. Yeah, we can, and we've got it set up here to the color red. 
And if you can kind of tell that kind of pastel red, you've got all these different colors here. I'll go back to black just for now. Different kinds of brushes. So this is your pen uh, brush. You can change the width of what you're doing. This is a, so what's that? That's a pen, brush pen five, ballpoint pen two, pencil six, you can change the texture. Um, and then this is a marker. So if we just go through those, so a brush is like that. Uh, it's, it's kind of pressure sensitive, so the harder you do it and the softer you do it. There you go. And then that's pen two. Obviously the width is kind of just less than the middle. So let's do that one. There we go. Again, if you do it lightly and then thickly. There we go. All right. And this is the ballpoint pen. Yep. There we go. Ballpoint pen. All in black, these. Uh, pencil. Well, this is, this is texture one. I'm doing it lightly, harder. And then let me just see whether I can, what the texture two looks like. There we go. So lightly, harder. Okay, yeah, slightly different texture, a bit more, bit more detail, a bit, bit grainier, that one. Okay, and then this one is the marker. Okay, all right. I'm just intrigued with the marker. Can I do that? Make it bigger. Oh, there we go. I might be taxing a little bit because I'm recording too. There we go. And then, so let's just go back to pen, or brushes, let's go back to pen two, and then tap that. And that just, so what, all right, so you, what you get is two different pen types to just quickly go through at the top here. Nice, neat. And you can have one a different color as well. I'll set them, I'll set that to black. Okay. Brill, um, what's that? All right, it's just adding another pen. So you could have like loads of pens on the top. So you can flip between them without needing to go back into here. That's cool, I like that. Um, and then obviously you've got a rubber here. There you go. Oh, you just touch it and it goes. And what about if I tap it? Do I get another option? Yeah, there you go. So lasso eraser, erase current layer, erase all layers, and mobile eraser, depending on how you might want to delete it a little bit at a time. So for example, if I did that, now go to eraser, it will just delete the bit that I chose to delete. Okay, excellent, awesome, we like that. What's that button do at the top there? Oh, it just full screens it. Brilliant, how do I get back? Do I go in from the side? Oh, there we go. No, no, it's, no, sorry, it's brought it up here, hasn't it? So can I move that? What's that do? Customize toolbar. All right, so if we customize it, we get to choose what we want to add to that one if we want to keep it full screen. For now, I'm just gonna go back and bring the kind of menu bar here. Okay, what's this one by one canvas? All right, okay, so we're gonna have different canvas size. So we could swipe it across if we go two for two times one. Yep, yeah, drag it across as you would do, so you can make it bigger. Oh, tap those again. Canvas, or your custom canvas cropping. Let's go back to one. Okay, shape. So what does shape give me? Does that mean I just make a shape? What is that? It's just a... Just a line. If I tap it again, yay, there you go. Okay, um, let's just do a thicker line so we can see that better. Uh, square. So, what if I do that? Does it just do a square? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. And then another shape. Uh, do a squiggly line. Squiggly line. Oh, let me give it time. There you go. Squiggly line. Awesome. And this is the bat button, isn't it? There you go. All right, so shapes, that's shapes. And oh, let me create, let me just write some stuff. Um, go 
go back to the pen. Oops. Lasso. Okay. Intelligent extend the selected range. Free lasso. The selected range is the actual range and tags. After selecting, you can save it for quick indexing. Got it. Okay, so we just lasso this. There we are. We can now rotate it. And then I would assume we can make it bigger. There we go. Make it longer. Okay, yeah, that does what it says on the tin. We can copy it and then we can paste it. There we are, select all. Okay, all the stuff that's on the screen, you can manipulate then. And then we've got a more button here. There's so much you can do with it. Flip horizontally, there you go. <laughs> um, flip vertically, boom. Okay, great stuff. And this is going between the layers, is it? And the first, uh, different pages, sorry. So it's, these are the different pages here. All right, okay. Fill, uh, okay, got it. All right, so if we do, let's do a shape and then do a square. Just do a big old square there and then fill. Tap it again to get more choices. Let's fill it with is that purple. I think so. There we go. Got a purple square and we can change it. So uh, I'm going to turn it black. There we are. Okay, yeah, that's, I get that, that's cool. Okay, so fill. Any other choices when I tap it that I'm missing? No, okay, it's just the colors. All right, great stuff. What's this? Gesture, okay. Control touch inputs, which is tapping, swiping, edge gesture to reduce conflict between hands and stylus. All right, okay. So these are the different gestures we can do, which um, some of them are, 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 it's just intuitive by now. If you press that, yeah, it just gives you the same information again. Okay, sync. That just, I guess, syncs to the cloud, does it? Maybe it does, maybe it syncs it to the cloud. Who knows, I don't know. Um, that's the magnify button, so I can see what I'm doing. Fit screen, so if I get a lost, I can just kind of get it to fit. Yeah, zoom in, zoom in, fit screen. Quickly zoom out, yep, great stuff. Fit canvas, yeah, same thing, because it's the thing there, great, cool, okay. And then text. So, brings up the keyboard, so I can, I can, what's this, is this kind of, yeah, need to download handwriting recognition package, which is taking me to. Do I want the United States? Is there an English United Kingdom? Yeah, I passed it. There we go. Let's quickly download that. 12.7 megabytes, not bad. Brilliant, okay. So handwriting recognition, this will be a challenge. Um, um, can we move that? Yeah, we can move that over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. My name is Mark. Let's see how good that is. Cool, okay. That works rather well. And then the microphone. Hello there, my name is Mark. How are you doing? Yeah, pretty good. Okay, <laughs> we can stop that. Um, Cut and crop, so you've got anything on the clipboard, you can paste there. Um, another way of doing your clipboard, I guess. What's that? It's the thing I've always thought about um, the books devices, is that the options and the menus, they just go deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, <clears throat> but there you are, all these things are there if you want, and I've hidden that now. So insert, so I want to insert uh, a link to a website or a link to a page or an attachment or a voice text. I can do that too. So link to websites, where would I? Okay, so I would need to, let me go back to 
What would you do if I type my website address? Dot com up slash at mark underscore Kelly. See how you handle that. Ah, that was close. Anyway, <laughs> there we are. Um, I'm not going to change that, but there we are. I've got a link down here. We can go visit that website here. Okay, shape perfection. So now if I do shape perfection, it should. I imagine if I do that and then hold. Yay, it creates a circle. So it's a lot quicker way than having to go into the shape thing. Can I go onto a new page? So if I do... Will it recognize that shape? Still active, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Oh, shape too far. Cool. Okay. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and lasso recognition, lasso recognition. So what if I'm doing that? Yeah, it does. So you just circle it and make it bigger. Okay, and more. Push page, so full refresh if things are getting a bit, kind of if the e-ink page isn't refreshing to your liking, you can do that. Uh, push a page, take away a page, save it, share, export it, recordings, position, customize your toolbar. Right, pretty good. It's got everything and more that you could possibly need to create really great notes. Um, maybe I'll try giving this thing a little bit more of a go. Um, I do think it is an awesome product um, and I, I do like the colour uh, aspect of it, which I've not really investigated too much on here. But, you know, if, if you're a heavy note taker, um, then maybe, you know, this thing is, has got loads of stuff. I mean, when you think about the okay so when you think about the um templates it's got an offer here so i quite liked this um what was it study was it study one there you go work a daily schedule like if i download that or schedule if you're american um and then you can change the name of it there the notepad um create it i think that's great you know really really cool um three priorities make more videos that's number one post for tomorrow date time what you want to do what you want to achieve tomorrow and then slide across you also get another one and you can add different templates to different pages within the same notebook so that's really cool and that's something that the scribe has only just um, started to be able to do so i think that's i think that's great i think there's more than enough note taking capabilities on here to satisfy the most ardent note taker. And because of the battery life of the Books tablet, or any e-ink device actually just goes on for, for days, if not weeks. And, the, and the, for this, you've got so many different options. And I like the different kind of pen, quick pen swipes that you can do at the top there. You can't do that on the Kindle. You have to go into the menu every single time. You got so many options, so much stuff you want to do. I think it's, it's cracking. Um, and maybe I really should give this thing a bit more of a go. Um, it's just, you know, like when you're kind of in one ecosystem and it's, it's just does exactly what you need, then that's why the scribe has been good. But for you, you may want to do so much more than I would suggest that the books is perfect for you. Um, I do have a, an affiliate link in the description box below. So go tap that if you want to investigate this further. But if you want to check out the unboxing I did of this, well, then you'll find that video here. Okay, until then, happy note-taking.